when we received information about the imminent death of the Soviet leader it was about Yuri Andropov. We began to think about a possible rise to power with our help of a man who will enable us to realize our goals. It was an assessment by my experts. And I always formed a very skilled group of experts on the Soviet Union and, to the extent necessary, I facilitated the further emigration of the right people from the USSR. That man was Mikhail Gorbachev, who was characterized by experts as a careless man, ambitious and highly suggestible. He had a good relationship with the majority of the Soviet political elite, and therefore his coming to power with our help was possible. Margaret Thatcher, a member of the Trilateral Commission, January of 1992. On December 29, 2004 in the newspaper Rosieski the style was published an interesting article by Leonid Smolny, the general liquidator although it can be called differently, the Judas of Stavropol Krai, for example about Mikhail Gorbachev. It will be interesting for the readers of the book. Before quoting it, I would like once again to express my point of view. It is Mikhail Gorbachev who is personally responsible for the collapse of the USSR and the many tragedies that unfolded on the territory of the former USSR. For some people, autumn comes early and stays for life. Where do they come from? From the ashes. Where are they headed? To the grave. Does blood flow in their veins? No, it's the night wind. Do thoughts knock in their heads? No, it's the worm. Who talks with their mouths? A toad? Who looks through their eyes? The serpent? Who listens with their ears? The black abyss? They disturb souls with an autumn storm. They gnaw the foundations of reason. They push sinners to the grave. They rage. And are fussy during explosions of rage. They sneak, stalk, trap. The face of the moon becomes grim because of them and clean flowing water gets obscured. Such are the people of the fall. Beware of them on your way. Ray Douglas Bradbury Something Wicked This Way Comes 1962 on March 2, 1931 the boy was born in the village of Privalno in Stavropol Krai. He grew up, graduated from Moscow State University. Fate exalted him to the top of a mighty and great country. He was taken enthusiastically outside of his homeland and cursed at home. He changed the map of the planet and turned back evolution. Already he certainly got into the history books. It's unfortunate that he forgot that one doesn't just get into history but can also get stuck there. By the early 1980s the Soviet Union became even more outwardly strong but inside it was already being undermined by invisible worms and moles. The country needed reforms. It was clear to everyone. The question was which group will come to power and, accordingly, whose strategic line will prevail. Leonid Brezhnev's clan was preparing its own candidacy with a successor to replace the leader, who fell into senile impotence. 
that one time certain forces were putting forward the first secretary of the Belarusian Committee of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union Pyotr Masharov, who mysteriously died in a car crash. There was also talk of Grigory Romanov from Leningrad, but he was compromised by the security services. Unexpectedly for many, however, to the post of General Secretary came Murray Andropov. It seemed like for a long time, contrary to the spreading rumors about the poor state of health of Andropov, he could survive in the Kremlin for more than a year. It didn't work. Konstantin Chernenko also became just the fleeting folk memory. The country was tired of funerals and then, in March of 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev became the new general secretary. Much has been written about the intrigues that accompanied the nomination and promotion of Mikhail Gorbachev to this high office. But not everything. Writers and analysts, who thoughtfully reasoned about the undercurrents in the Kremlin Aquarium, for some reason didn't mention one remarkable circumstance. Gorbachev is a southerner. Alongside his Stavropol Kray the mystical Caucasus mountains are located in the south everything doesn't just grow rapidly. Roots are planted that can't be calculated directly. Moreover, there have been enough people from the Caucasus region in Moscow since the times of St. Joseph. There was a certain mystery about the mechanism of promotion in the party. A provincial secretary with a relevant vision and a limited vocabulary from old political economy textbooks subjectively had no chance of moving to Moscow. But people moved him. It was said that this included the KGB chairman Yuri Andropov. Gorbachev was the first secretary of the Stavropol Regional Committee. He was the king of the largest region of the country, where party bosses like Mikhail Sislav and Yuri Andropov liked to rest. He was the curator of the disastrous agriculture. Another mystery, the head of the KGB of Azerbaijan Haydar Polyev presumably knew something about the Stavropol past of Gorbachev and tried to stop him. Yuri Andropov promoted Polyev to Moscow to apparently, at the last moment, use his record against Mikhail Gorbachev. And, therefore, it was no accident that Shortly after coming to power, Gorbachev dealt a blow against the security officer from Azerbaijan. So, what did competent authorities know about the last general secretary of the Soviet Union? What was Gorbachev so afraid of? There was much in the reform plans that were supposed to be undertaken by Yuri Andropov, but there were never any considerations about the collapse of the Soviet Union, which is what Gorbachev subsequently did. He did not hesitate to call himself a protege of Andropov. Andropov intended to push the Communist Party away from governance, transferring full authority to Soviet business executives, the Soviet government, and not the conclave of elders of the Politburo, was supposed to lead the management structure. Andropov wanted to create the two-party system in the country. 
the ruling party would always feel the breath of its competitors on its neck. This version of the reforms seems very different from what was subsequently done to the trusting people by Gorbachev. It is clear that the removal from power of the CPSU was not easy. It was required to first lead the party to disrupt the symmetrical rows. The reason for the occurrence of financial misdeeds became the Soviet economic elite, whose affairs were the subject of attention of the KGB. However, before the arrival of Andropov they could not put the stored information in the case. The economic managers were covered by senior party officials. But in 1982 the committee seriously looked at the Krasnodar and Astrakhan secretaries. Few people know that the third person on this list was the former secretary of the Stavropol Regional Committee of the CPSU Mikhail Gorbachev. Here's a little history. The southerly direction became a concern of law enforcement at a specific time. From the Republic of Afghanistan, where a contingent of Soviet troops acted out its international mission. Drugs began to arrive together with the coffins of dead soldiers. The analysts of the KGB and the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the USSR saw a special danger in that the transit and distribution of narcotic substances was fronted by senior officers of law enforcement agencies and by individual members of the party apparatus. Attempts to calculate the geography of transit flows of the Soviet traffickers were undertaken by the Minister of Internal Affairs of the USSR Vitaly Fedorkuk, his deputy Vasily Pledge Hetakovi, and the chairman of the KGB Viktor Cherbakovi. On the instructions of the Council of Ministers of the USSR they moved to the chief of the psychophysiological laboratory of the MBD of the USSR Mikhail the Nodradolf the task of developing the method to identify the hidden law enforcement officers who either used drugs or came in contact with narcotic substances. The chosen testing ground for the method were Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and Azerbaijan. The special team participated in the annual maintenance inspection of the personnel of law enforcement agencies. In the end it turned out that the police in these republics, from generals to ordinary officers, Personal he used drugs in 60 cases out of a hundred. But most importantly, what the operation was planned for and what the research supervisor Mikhail the Nodradolf didn't know about back then was the confirmation of information that all narcotic flows from Central Asia and the Caucasus at the outset converged in Stavropol Krai. And now it's clear why. In 1978 Mikhail Gorbachev was pushed from occupying one of the top secretary posts of Stavropol Krai to occupying the post of the secretary of the Central Committee of the CPSU on disastrous agriculture. Was he being moved away from the blow? Or maybe 